right here for round number two. Uh, this hand is okay. Um, we'll probably use this to just search up a couple of our two drops, like the Hopo and uh, Vitalist. We are going to go ahead and uh, cycle our Riverwinder on turn one, because we have... Ooh, there's our win condition. I'm just going to save time and cycle it now. As in Scatter is a great draw there. As in Scatter is a way to be the guy. Oh, are we just going to play against Scorpion God again? That'd be fun. That'd be real fun. That'd be a good old time. We're going to play a bit of a bit of bait warrior. We're going to play a bit of bait warrior. And then we're going to uncage the menagerie for two, and then play sharpshooters, and then... Well, will probably actually just play our two, two drops. No, that's all right. We'll scatter anything here. We'll also accept him just not playing anything. Um, since we actually curved down to a land, I like. And our opponent does not do anything himself. I like holding up the scatter for... Or no, we uncage... Oh, what if, what if we just play against the Scorpion God again? This is what's gonna kill me. I think we do it for three next turn, and then we just start deploying our three drops. Land Scorpion God. I also like no land. No land makes me just feel much safer to do this uh, Uncaged Menagerie. We're gonna do it for three. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna grab Cheetah, Eternal, and Aerial Guide. We have to discard, which is a little unfortunate. I think we actually just discard the aerial guy. I guess I well no, you have to get three. Cause next turn we're gonna play the Eternal and then either Flash and Cheetah or Essence Scatter. Then turn after we're gonna overcome, hopefully holding up Essence. So we're just not playing these or we're just going to not be playing one of these three drops. I think it's Aerial Guide. Aerial Guide's so good. I think this guy's just never coming down. We have so many things to do. Land Scorpion God. <laughs> Alright, perfect. And we drew a land so that we're able to uh, overcome next turn and hold up um, and hold up Essence Scatter. Kills our guy, that's fine. <laughs> that's not something I care about. So we're gonna let that happen and play the cheetah. 
and overcome with out of station in case things get out of hand. I guess there's no need to overcome yet. Let's get the aerial guide out, because then we can aerial guide, uh, make our bouncing cheetah fly to get past his 4-2. 4-2 isn't going to kill us anytime soon. Still have Essence Scatter back up. If we draw land again, then we just get to right away overcome into Bloodwater Entity, mm -hmm. putting overcome on top. Seems like a game plan. Here we essence scatter any creature. All right. Land is good. One, two, three, four, five. Overcome. Attack, attack, attack. Give Chi a flying. Draw a card. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> Let the entity put overcome on top. Yes. He goes land hour of devastation. We gonna get to feral prowl, feral prowler with essence scatter up. All right, it's on the line. All right, we can beat four lands. We're doing it. Um, we saw removal spells from him. That's about it. And by that I mean we saw a removal spell and a creature. So not much to bring in against that. Let's go. Oh, punished! Punished! Still keep it. I want to draw. Draw an island, we're super happy. Draw a Naga Vitalist, we're decently happy. Draw a blue card, we're sad. Oh, we have our turn 6 play of activate this for two blue sources. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> Mon is land. I'll I will take a two drop as well. I'll take something to play. Kill my guy. Oh, no, he has combos. I want him to have combos. Oh, that's fine. Island is good. Um... We are going to offer this trade just because this is such a stupid combo. Um, if he had taken the trade, then we play the Naga Harrier, but since he didn't take the trade, we play the River Hopeful. It forces him to have an answer to the Hopo to have his Dauntless at Haven do some dancing. I don't know why he said that. Have his Dauntless Haven do some dancing. Sure. Don't kill it. That's fine. I'll block. I 
That's a good follow up too. We're gonna play a three three. We will trade this three three for uh, our three three for two two. But no need to exert this turn. Um, next turn we have the potential to overcome. That we'll probably just play the bitter blow, bitter blow, bitter bow sharpshooters. Stuck on lands again? Arrest that guy? That's fine. That's fine. Gets in for three. Ooh. Ooh. So this is Kindled Fury. Kindled Fury is annoying. Do we force him to have it? Taking seven here, I think we do force him to have it. We'll make him have it. He didn't have it. Ah, sometimes you're rewarded. Sometimes you are just straight rewarded. Um. Okay, now we're just gonna play a big old four four. And we're not attacking. Or we're not blocking with those. Uh, we don't want to lose our hobo to this guy. Oh. Oh, that bluff with Kindle Fury. Sometimes you just gotta call the bluff. It, and is that, if we didn't have this as a follow-up the following turn, I wouldn't have gone to call it. But since we had a follow-up, that's why I would've done it. If he... If, all we had riding on our back was River Hopo, just like gave us the card advantage, then I would have uh, stayed safer. Shockman did not attack from that. I feel like that thing should have been attacking. <laughs> This Cataracts is not not doing great for us. So if we overcome, it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. He would not be forced to attack. This is only attacking zombies. But if he didn't do any blocks, he would go down to one. I think I like it better than the River Hopo. I guess you're just harsh, uh, harsh truths and sack this. Overcome. Especially since we have a blocker still. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah. Are going to exert that and attack those just to get that extra point of damage. He takes it down to 1. Slightly scary, but not the worst. This is other attacking creatures, so we'd be able to... We take seven, he would gain three, and then we have him dead on the crackback, so we can't do that.
This play might just be like just to attack with this. In which case, I think we still block. No, we wouldn't block. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure it's just attack with your zombie. Yep. Attack that or block that guy. He does not gain the life. Which is interesting. A little scary. We are at five. He has two lethal attackers coming back at him. He had blur. If he has blur, mountain, open fire. Rapid fire, the, the fire. Lightning bolt. Yep, Blur Blades finishes that off. I am at three. Second compulsory arrest. Enter. That's fine, my guy flies. So if you actually had Blur Blades at the Hopo, you would have lived. I'm gonna attack you with one flying. Go, Hopo, go! If he had Blur Blades to Hopo, played that. I'm at three. So I can't be that aggressive. He has two guys that don't deal damage and the guy that kills me. Yeah, I think. I mean, I, I've luckily been able to draw the second blocker, but I think if he. Blur of Blades... If, yeah, if he Blur of Blades the Hopo... Oh, but he, his guy has to block. But then he gets to, like, attack in. I'm forced to block this guy. If he has anything, then... I, like, I have the extra two life from that, but, like, if he has, like, Brute Strength or something in his deck... Then yeah, that would have done it. Good games. We'll see you for round three.